Hello, uh, I thought I'd like to show you around my new hydraulic press. Just finished building it. It's a 24 ton press running off of a 2 horsepower 1800 RPM motor that uh, flows about 5.5 gallons per minute. It's 11 gallon per minute pump running at half speed. That means the ram runs at about 1 inch per second in the first stage of the, the press. Most of the plans and inspiration come from Jim Batson's book, Hydraulic Press Forging. That's where all the technical information comes from. I changed the press around a little bit from his plans. I like the top-down press better, plus it gives me the cart underneath to put all of the uh, pumps, the tank, everything else in, so it's all one contained unit. I also got some inspiration from Randy McDaniel's book on hydraulic press forging. Some good information in both books. I'm going to go ahead and try to show you around the, the press a little bit here. Pardon the wobble on the camera. It's about seven feet tall overall. It's a five inch cylinder, eight inch stroke. There's a full eight inches between the dies when it's open all the way. And that gives me plenty of room for other dies. Punching is what I will do mostly under this. I just don't have punches built. So down here in the cart, you can see the filter. You can't really see the motor all that well. But it's all shoehorned in there pretty tight. But it all fits. A 10 gallon hydraulic tank. I say a two horse 1800 RPM motor running the 11 GPM pump at five and a half gallons per minute. It's a 24 ton press. So let's uh, give it a try here. So it's a little bit slow, but I knew that going into it. But you don't always have to lift it all the way up. There's no reason to bring that up any further than the, the height of the period. This bar is not very hot because I had to turn the forge off for a better sound. This is uh, three quarter by one. Small bar, or one, one heat, it wasn't very hot. That's a really pretty good amount of work for what, what I'm doing there. Different dies will have different effect. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and we'll see if we can get that to, to forge at a higher heat here. This is a much better heat this time. You can just see how much force that takes. Now that's full force of the press right there. And you can see how far that took that down. One problem is it does cool things off, so you've got to take that into account when you're, when you're working with the press. You get quite carried away there based on that. So that gives you the basic idea. I'll shoot some more videos as soon as I have some more tooling made.
punches and dies are going to be my main tools. Again, the uh, books I got inspiration from, Randy McDaniel's book shows a lot on tooling, how to, how to make dies. He describes these uh, removable dies. I don't want to touch that because it's hot now, but it just slides. I don't know if it's not too bad. These just slide in and out, change die system. Most of the technical details are from building your own hydraulic forging press by Dr. Jim Batson. And it's an excellent book with all the technical details of the press. Uh, one thing I didn't cover is the foot pedal. There, I have a linkage that goes to the valve. And one side makes the press go down and the other side makes the press go up. And that's it. Thanks for looking.